Hello everyone. Jum Jumington here. How you doing? Hey everybody, Jum Jumington here with a very exciting episode of Jumpcraft. Today is my uh, 50th episode. Ooh! So uh, yeah, I got something kind of big planned for today. It's kind of involved. It's going to take uh, a lot of planning and a lot of preparation. But I plan to travel to the treacherous end, home of the uh, Enderman and the Ender Dragon. And I plan to slay that dragon. Now, uh, if you've been watching for a while, you probably remember my last horrible failed attempt at uh, slaying that dragon, and that that didn't go so well for me. Not doing so good. Oh. Wow. Yeah. But uh, I uh, I remain optimistic about my chances this time, and uh, one thing I learned is that I was totally unprepared for that fight. And so this time I'm going to uh, I'm gonna prep myself up. Now uh, I need several things to do this. And uh, it's going to take me a while to build that up. First off, I'm going to have to rack up a whole ton of uh, ender pearls. You need to take those ender pearls and combine them with blaze powder, which you get from blaze rod. So I'm going to have to fight those guys too. And you mix those together and you get the eye of ender. And uh, what you do with that is you chuck that in the air. It flies towards a stronghold buried underground where you'll find the uh, end portal. And then you need those to complete the end portal to travel to the end. But that's not all. Um, I'm also going to need some upgraded armor. Because, uh, you know, this, this iron stuff's getting pretty beat. And uh, it's just not up to snuff. It's all uh, fire protection and projectile projection. Well, there's no fire and there's no projectiles in the end. The only thing that's going to do me any good down there is uh, general just the protection enchantment. Get that as high as I can, and feather fall on the boots. And uh, I think I'm going to have to break down and make those out of diamond to get the maximum effect. And then I'm also going to rack up some potions. So uh, there's going to be a whole lot of fighting, a whole lot of uh, XP farming, and a whole lot of potion brewing going on before we go fight that end dragon. But uh, before I get going with that, I just want to take a moment to thank all of you, my viewers and subscribers, for uh, continuing to watch my series and leaving me feedback. And uh, it's much appreciated. You know, your uh, your encouragement is what keeps me going. Your enjoyment is what uh, keeps me making these videos. And uh, I like to think that I've come quite a ways since I first started. Uh, you know, practicing more of my uh, editing techniques and uh, working more with the, the production end of things has been just a blast. And playing the game, of course, is tons of fun. And uh, I always love that. But uh, without you guys watching, without your feedback, um, I probably wouldn't have kept doing this. So... You know, thanks for watching. I hope you you have enjoyed the uh, series up to now, and I hope you enjoy my big time 50th episode. So, uh, where do we start? Well, I'm gonna have to go after a whole bunch of stuff outside, a whole bunch of Endermen. I'm gonna need some backup on that, and so uh, I'm gonna take these animals you see before me. And I'm gonna breed myself a small army. Yes, yes, grow. Grow my army of beasts, grow mighty, grow numerous. Yes. All right, we got ten dogs, we got ten cats. Let's take these wild beasts to the surface and do some hunting. Now, uh, cats may not seem uh, immediately useful since they don't fight anything, but they will, uh, at least in concept, keep the creepers away from me. So uh, let's gather these folks up. And leave some of these guys behind so I can maintain a breeding pair. The rest of you guys are coming with me. 
The cats, I'm not quite sure on their health and if they take damage. Well, I'm pretty sure they take damage. I mean, you can kill them. I'm sure I, I haven't tested it yet. But the uh, dogs will, will take quite a whooping. But you can uh, God, quit pushing me around. But uh, you can just feed them uh, meat to heal them back up. And uh, you can tell what their health is by where their tails are at. I have no idea with the cats, but since they're not doing any direct fighting, well, I'm not too concerned about it. Man, these guys are going to be a nightmare to wrangle. They're shoving me all over the place. Come on! Oh, look at those cats are all fighting to get on the box. It's just ridiculous. Look at them! Oh, perhaps this was a huge mistake. No. No, all these animals will, will definitely come in handy. Anything else I can... Oh, God, look at that. Oh, man. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's my mighty army of dogs and cats. Understand? Get out of my way. Total came away with uh, 15 Ender Pearls, which is pretty decent. Uh, Enderman spawn rates are a little on the low side, so I feel lucky we ran into the ones that we did. But uh, that'll give us a nice uh, hearty 42 Ender Pearls. That's good enough. So uh, now we have that. Let's uh, let's roll on to the next phase of this plan, which means traveling to the treacherous Nether, and I have to go back to that fortress if I can find it. And, uh, gotta rip some blaze rods. And, uh, I'm gonna need some backup on that. Can't take the dogs with me, but I got a couple potions of fire resistance. We're gonna see how well those do against those, uh, asshole blaze who just love to set you on fire. Uh, swiftness, strength. Nah, I'm not gonna mess with those right now. Let's just stick with the, uh, fire resistance and see how that does for us. Alright, back in the nether. I think I remember how to get to that fortress. I, um... Well, I thought I had the coordinates written down, but uh, apparently I either didn't write them down the last time I was there, or I wrote them on a note that I can't find now. So, so uh, yeah, hopefully I don't get lost, because uh, getting lost in this place is just a nightmare. And, oh, I'm already going the wrong way. Um, yeah, so uh, wish me luck. Okay, so I I am totally lost, completely lost. Um, no idea where I'm at. Some of this, no, nothing here looks familiar. You know, there's some stuff that looks familiar um, closer to the portal, but uh, if I don't spend a lot of time in here, these things don't really add up. Put some torches down to try and find my way back. I also got my coordinates up so I can at least find my way back to uh, the main portal. But, uh, well, there's a crafting table, so I don't have to come this way. So this direction, I. I sort of remember. I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna be stuck in here forever. Mm. Oh, here's a magma cube. Let's murder this guy so we can get some uh, magma cream out of this. Come on, nothing. Oh, you cheap, slimy, fiery bastard. Ugh. Well. I, I, I sort of got a sense that I'm going in the right direction because uh, I've chewed out some blocks here. Or at least it looks like I did make a little stairway, but it's not really looking familiar. Um, geez. Uh, I really have to make... Uh, I'm really going to have to come back here and... Uh, Make some kind of path out. It's a lot easier to follow. I should at least have written down the coordinates because now I'm heading. Yeah, this is this is a dead end here. This is um. I'm just gonna have to cut a lot of this on the editing floor. Otherwise, this episode's gonna be four hours of me wandering around the meaty hell here. 
Okay, this is looking good. This is looking good. I see it. I can see the uh, the first bridge, junction, whatever the hell, of the fortress. All right, so successfully found this. It. Uh, let me tell you, I probably cut a lot of this footage out, but uh, this is uh, it's taking me hours. Actually, turn the recording off for a little bit. Oh God! You get out of here. Stupid damn guest. Not gonna wreck my plans. Not today. Come on. Come on. Yes! Choke on it! Alright, let's get in this fortress and uh, let's find ourselves some uh, some blaze spawners and go to town. Really? Yeah. Oh, not again. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Alright. So let's, uh, let's find some blaze, let's chug some potions of fire resist. And then see how many uh, blaze rounds we can rack up. All right, here's one. This is looking good. So let's uh, check on this potion of fire resist. See how good this does. Let's gonna chill here and wait for this to spawn up. Gas around here, making me nervous. And um, well, so, oh shit! No, no, don't wreck the spawner. Oh. This is the worst place for this to happen. Oh god! Well, alright, let's get in there. Be quick. Oh yeah! Come on! Oh, you're just gonna fly away? You bastards. You know, I can't tell if they're hitting me with that fire or not. I think I got hit. They're just, oh, they're just gonna fly away? You sons of bitches. Come on. Come on. Come on down here and fight me. Like a normal, non- Alien, tubey, floaty, fire, shoot! Oh shit! Yeah! You know I've uh, noticed. Yeah, I'm getting hit by fire, and it's not damaging me at all, not in the least. So uh, this potion of fire is delicious. To use a uh, language that's totally appropriate for me. I, I thought this fight was gonna be a lot more intense, and really, it's just more aggravating than anything because they just tend to fly away. Oh, this guy's coming back down. Coming back. Down. Oh! Ooh, I just spoke too soon. Oh, you know what? He uh, he teabagged me, and uh, I don't have a potion of uh, teabag resist. So, uh, yeah, my fire resist is still active. So I guess if they uh, ram their junk into my face, I'm still going to take a hit from that. Still, though, this is um, this is not uh, as intense as I thought it would be. I thought this was going to be just, like, horrifying, and that I'd die multiple times going through this. So, uh, you know, let's... Uh, oh. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Uh, let's go take a wander around and uh, see if we can find. I know there were some other ones, uh, some other uh, spawners nearby. There's a ghast here. Gas I killed, and that's handy. Come on. I ain't afraid of you. I ain't a scared. Oh, he came back. Sometimes they come back again. So, I know there was an area in here that had a couple uh, blaze spawners pretty close by, so uh, you know, maybe I can. Uh, Increase my yields with that. Oh shit! Well, no fire can't burn that anyway. I don't even know why I'm worried. Come on, come on, come on! I hate these guys. Even when they can't really hurt me, I still hate them because they're just, they're just damn irritating. Let's go find the other one. I think it's more closed in. And, uh, better on that one. What are you doing? You, oh. Huh? Yes. Oh, I still got the rod. Awesome sauce. Okay, now we're traveling to the belly of the beast. Fire resist is still active for another couple minutes. And uh, as long as I don't run any gas, we should be good. Okay, where are we at here? Yep, dug this out. Uh, oh, this looks promising. Yes! This is the spot. All right, let's do some damage here. Let's tear these guys up. Get all those rods. It's uh, been quite a bit so far, but um, I need more. Each of these rods will break down into two uh, powders. Oh, here we go. We got some customers here. Come on! Ooh! The power. The power. Get out of this hole here. Let's 
fine, it's fine. But, uh, there's that much threat. Still got plenty of uh, fire resist going. Oh, oh shit! Uh oh, I think they've uh, they've discovered oh they've discovered the flaw in my armor. They're uh, they're teabagging me. Oh oh god! Stay away. Um shit! Oh god! I just backed myself in a corner. I need that apple. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Come on! Oh god! Oh god! Oh oh no! Oh oh damn it! All right, I got five minutes to run. Shut up, gas. Oh shit! Get away from me. I got five minutes to run back there to get all that stuff. Otherwise, I lose all of my uh, enchanted shit. Most importantly, I lose all of those blaze rods I got. And uh, right now, my worst fear, aside from starving to death or dying, because I didn't have time to grab any weapons or anything before running back through here. So my worst fear is that all my crap will fall into a flaming block that one of those assholes set on fire, and it'll all be gone. So, uh, shit. Oh man, I got too cocky. I got too cocky, and they uh, and they knew it, and they uh, they got too cocky too. They uh, jammed their junk all up in my face, and uh, and it seared. It seared. It burned. You know. Let that be a lesson to uh, to all of you that uh, potion of fire resist will not protect you from getting teabagged by uh, extraterrestrial or extra-dimensional uh, fire-based entities. It's uh, it's bad business. Oh shit! Oh god! I was afraid the game was gonna crash. Okay, okay, I recognize this. And uh, why am I running on the slow sand? There, come on, come on, come on. Okay, oh, there's some experience. But, uh, that's a good sign, my stuff may have spread enough. It's, oh shit, no, 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 run, run, get out of there. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh, oh god. Oh, there's, oh. Well, at least I know my stuff's still there. All right, let's grab some stuff real quick. Let's grab some food, grab a boy. Why did I grab an axe? Oh, there's just no time. There's no time. So I'm gonna grab some uh, potions of swiftness from down there. And, um, oh, God. This is, this is the intense fight. Yep, get a bow. Some arrows. This is the, uh, the intense fight that I was expecting. This is the horror that I was expecting in that place. Oh, man. Yeah, I... I done screwed up. I let my guard down. I didn't even see that dude that was uh, sitting right in my face, assaulting me sexually. But, uh, let's let's get back there. Gotta get that stuff before it disappears. There's still a chance. There's still hope. Okay, back again. with this potion in full effect. I'm uh, running my ass off here, and the only chance, the only plan I've got here is to grab all the stuff that I can and run as far away from that spawner as I can. So if I do die, and I probably will die. I can get back here and get my stuff without setting off that spawner. Oh, thank God there's some of that stuff left. I don't even have time to look at what's left. Oh, that experience, man. That's just... Oh, God. All right, run. Run, run, run. Come on. No, no. Just get out. Oh, sh No, no, no. Come on. Move it. Oh, come on. Just a little... Oh. oh. Okay, several tries later, I did manage to get all my stuff back. And, uh... Time to fate right now. Oh, no, no, let's just get out of here. Um, those two spawners that are up there are uh, close enough together that if I wanted to, I can come back and build a uh, dual spawner trap out of it. Although these guys are a little bit difficult to uh, manage with that. I've seen a couple videos. Uh, I know uh, Etho's got one going, but it seems like he's having a lot of trouble with it. So maybe more than I want to mess with. So let's see what we got. Uh, okay, I lost my boots. Kept the rods. Uh, I lost a pick. Ain't no big thing. Oh, all right. Looks like I come out of this mostly intact. Let's, uh, let's get out of here before something else horrible happens. I can hear some gas floating around. I came through here. Oh, man. It ended up being a much... Oh, my God. Did you see that? You just spit it right into my path. This game is actively trying to murder me now. This, this, just... Oh. Oh. Well, at least I got a gas tear out of it. Let's just let's just focus on getting out of here and uh, making it back home safely with all this loot in hand. And we can move on to the next phase of the project, which is going to involve a whole lot of uh, XP farming. If I can make it out of here. Oh, God, that glowstone looked like a uh, gas. And, uh, you know, gas normally aren't too much of a problem, but uh, in a place like this, you can get blasted off the, uh, the edges and... Uh, Okay, this is the right way. 
And uh, yeah, it's just a just a tense moment, you know, tense, tense several moments getting back through there and uh, getting all that stuff. All right, we've made it home safely, so let's uh, make some eye of ender. Take your blaze powder and your uh, ender pearls, mix them in a pot, and get exactly what the doctor ordered. There we go. Eye of ender. That's my like, attempt at the all the noise sorry um yeah so uh, the way these work you just chuck them and you can see it uh, flew out that way and that is the direction of the uh stronghold where you will find the end portal and, uh, and that's where we need to go to get to the end but not quite yet because uh, i still need some uh, upgraded equipment my armor is pretty beat to hell and uh i'm gonna need plenty of experience to get uh get the good stuff get the goods so uh yeah fire protection projectile protection that doesn't do me any good in a place with no fire, no projectiles. It's just got to be all project protection and uh, feather fall. Hopefully I can get that. And then, uh, I don't know, maybe a bow or a sword. They're both still looking pretty good, but uh, you know, let's see uh, how long this experience farming takes. So uh, I'm going to mix and match between the skeleton and the uh, zombie spawners. Um, skeleton spawner obviously has the advantage of being closer to the uh, only enchanting room that I have set up. But the uh, the zombie uh, spawn has the advantage of uh, the rare drops that are actually useful to me, like uh, uh, shovels and uh, iron helmets. If I continue to use iron uh, armor after uh, this diamond armor, I'm gonna make breaks and uh, you know occasional iron ingots. Let's just leave this good stuff there. Let's just leave those I have enders behind in case anything horrible happens, because I really am not looking forward to going back through the Nether. Uh, at least not this episode. I, I will be back, but um, I think I've had enough of being, uh, you know, junk crushed for today. So let's head over to the uh, zombie spawner in the village and uh, come back and just kind of go back and forth and uh, build up some XP. So let's go. <coughs> yum, yum. <coughs> Time to make the potions. Yes. Look at it all in its resplendent glory. Diamond armor. Enchanted, no less. Starting off, we got the uh, diamond helmet. Protection 4, very good. Respiration 3, which will help me breathe longer underwater. And uh, that'll come in handy later, so I hope I don't die. Protection 3 on the chest plate. Little disappointed. I was hoping for protection 4, but uh, take what I can get. Protection 4 on the pantaloons. And uh, protection 2 and feather falling 4 on the boots. Very lucky there. Very pleased to have that. Um... Very happy with this armor. Uh, came out pretty nicely. Got got lucky on it. Uh, even where I was unlucky, still works out pretty well. So I got enough protection here. This will last me a while. Now this that took me a while. I I cut a lot of that footage out. Um, it takes a while to build up the experience to get all this stuff. Uh, when you're talking about the main armor pieces, your helmet, chest plate, and pantaloons, um, to get the highest level of protection, your best bet for levels to spend is 49. And 49 levels takes, I uh, got some notes here, 890 mobs, skeletons, zombies, spiders, creepers, normal mobs. 890 of them I have to kill. And uh, <clears throat> I get about 200 for half an hour, uh, but I can't go much higher than that, otherwise it makes the game crash on me. Now the boots are a little bit better, they only take level 20, but level 20 still takes a while. It takes 45, or no, uh, 160. Uh, mobs to kill to get the uh, 20 levels you need for the boots and even then it's still a chance it's like a 30 percent chance you're going to get what you want so enchanting's a little little goofy like that but uh you know i got lucky this time which is nice because i had to spend a lot of diamonds to get all that so let's take a little else we got i got some potions here i got some uh, potions of regeneration um they are uh extended with the uh redstone which makes them last longer. Uh, I took that potion of strength I made a while ago. Figured, nah, just in case I have to fight the uh, Enderman in there, it'll help me out. But uh, I'm gonna put a pumpkin on my head, lose the protection of the helmet, <clears throat> but it'll keep me from having to fight the Enderman. Um, splash potions of healing. Not quite sure how these are gonna work. I think you have to hit your head with these in order to get the full effect. Um, but I, I think I can throw them on the ground and get it so we'll we'll find out but the regeneration should keep me going pretty well it's only if i get really dinged up that i need the potion of health let's see uh taking a piston uh not gonna tell you what this is for 
But if you've been to the end, if you fought the dragon, if you've seen all the videos, you probably know what I need this for. Otherwise, you're just going to have to wait and see. Because if I fail, then um, we'll just pretend that never happened. Uh, i got a bed so I can set my spawn point in case anything bad happens. And also so I end up back there at the end. My Eye of Enders. Plenty of food, plenty of arrows. Plenty of shit. I decided to keep my uh, sword and uh, bow. They still got a decent life on them. And... Uh, Power 5 bow is pretty nice, the looting sword's pretty nice, not sure how much I'm going to need it, but uh, we shall see. Alright, I'm all blinged out with my enchanted diamond armor, I got my enchanted weapons, I got my potions, and I got the uh, Eye of Ender. So let's get out there, take these guys with me. Somehow they got down here, even though they were sitting up top. I left my whole army sitting up there, and uh, I don't know how, but they ended up down here somehow. Anyway, let's, uh, shitty day for this. No matter, we'll press on with my army of meat here. Not sure how effective these guys really are because it seems like a lot of times they just get in the way. You can see some of my dogs are getting kind of beat up there. Some fights. And, uh, oh, geez, this is just, just trying to get them all sitting and all back up. This is too many in range. I think I, I think I went too far with all these animals. But, you know, come on. Oh, that stupid grass getting in the way. Very irritating. I don't think you're intended to have this mass of uh, animals following you. Um, the, the biggest problem is that their you know, land speed is slower than you, so you end up outpacing them, which means they keep teleporting to you. But they usually teleport directly in front of you. Let's just turn the sound down. Kind of loud on the rain noise here. All right, so let's uh, let's get up on a high point here. Let's chuck this eye vendor. See where it takes us. And we are going that way. <clears throat> Not sure uh, how long it's going to take. Probably a good distance. The uh, last time was pretty far away. So you throw these in the air and they, uh, they'll they either come back down and you can recollect them, which is nice because uh, they're kind of a pain to get a hold of and uh, you're going to need them once you get there. Um, but they'll either uh, drop back down on the sky or explode or seem to get sucked into uh, the end itself. So you don't always get them back. Uh, which kind of sucks, but uh, this is the price that you must pay for glory. And uh, you can see as I'm walking here, these, these damn animals just, they, they teleport directly in front of you. And they can't keep up, so, you know, they, they're they constantly teleporting around you. And it usually means that they're teleporting directly into your path. And, um... Sometimes they teleport, and it seems like they teleport on the edge of a cliff and just drop right off, because I'm always hearing them take damage. Uh, just, uh, I don't know, just kind of just kind of irritating. I, I really wonder how useful they actually are. Um, no, I, I can say they've helped me. I mean, the cats tend to keep creepers away, and that's, uh, that's beneficial, though. That doesn't always work, because, you know, once again, they're slower than me. Did you get back? Oh, let's get down there. Check out that oxygen level, man. That helmet is uh, it's mighty handy. Yeah, that, uh, that helmet's going to come uh, in real handy if I uh, ever decide to start doing some underwater stuff. So uh, I'm going to hold on to that. But uh, for now, I'm just going to flip off the mic and let's beat feet and see how far this crazy pathway takes us. Hopefully we won't die or get too mangled up on the way.
This looks like the spot. Oh, my mouth is watering. Yep, shooting under the ground, which lets you know there's a uh, stronghold beneath you. And uh, specifically the end portal, which is where these uh, are attracted to. Now, I'm a little bit nervous. And uh, let me move out of the way. Build a quick uh, cover here for my uh, little tunnel going down. I'm a little bit nervous because I've seen... Um, occasionally you run into a bug where a stronghold generates without a portal, but the uh, Eye of Ender still leads you to that location. So I guess until we get down there, we're not really going to know if there's one there. But I remain uh, optimistic, as usual, that there uh, is probably one down there. Hopefully one down there. That'll take us to the end. Um, inventory's really at full. So uh, I'm just going to leave these guys up top because uh, in the tight quarters of the uh, stronghold, they're just going to get in the way. And uh, we're just going to dig down. Um, I probably don't have enough ladders. But, uh, all right, seal ourselves in. And, um, well, I guess I'll just dig straight down. I'm sure it's totally fine, totally safe. I will take that risk. And, uh, okay, well, maybe I'll just put these ladders up. And, uh, come on. All right. Those things are glitchy. You can hold shift on a ladder to uh, hang on to it and then uh, dig down from there and it's kind of safe it's not really totally safe and it is kind of slow but you know in this instance it'll work and uh, oh no yeah. good thing there was solid ground beneath me you know I'm just um, I'm not taking my own advice the most common advice not to dig straight down because I'm just so anxious to get to that portal and uh, get this fight on with this dragon and that's it for my ladders so hopefully it's uh, it's soon here. Let's light this up so we can see what we're working with. Okay. I can get back out by uh, tunneling up. So let's, uh, let's just dig out the side path so we can dig down so we're not digging straight out from under our feet. Um, although I guess I'm going to dig that down straight under my feet. Oh well. Gets the job done. Man, what a... What a journey this has been. You know, I've been working on this for a while. Um, it's hard for me to just sit in one spot and play the game for a real long time because i got other other stuff going on, so I keep having to leave this and come back and reckon up all that XP. It took a lot of time. Let's see how close are we. Okay, it's going that way. It's another one. i got plenty of these, so that's fine. I can hear stuff. Here's Silverfish. So now I'm close. That way. Alright. Away we go. Getting close now. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. In my mining bones. What is this? What is this? Let's light this up because this looks like, yes, stone brick. Sure sign of the stronghold. And there it is. Don't want to dig down that way though because that's where the lava is. Here we are in the portal room. There is a portal present. Oh, this is very exciting. Oh, I'm very nervous. I'm very nervous about this fight. Um, you know, I, I like to think I'm pretty prepared, but uh, Dragon's pretty tough. It's, it's more like the environment is really tough. And I'm just not going to get dig here. Well, we'll just get down in there as best we can. And, oh. Oh, crap. Oh, whatever. Ah, Silverfish! I hate these guys. I don't. I don't know if you can disable this uh, the spawner. Uh, creepy. How you doing? Just seal myself in here so nothing sneaks up behind me. And uh, oh, I got some of those uh, ender eyes still there. I got some moving back. So you can see the. Uh... Where are you? All right. These guys aren't much of a threat. They're more of a nuisance because they'll uh, they go inside blocks. And uh, they break them when they pop out. And when they go inside these blocks around the lava, it just spills lava everywhere and makes this kind of uh, dangerous place to work in. But I don't I don't think you can disable these with uh, with light. I'm not sure. I didn't get too much of a chance to play around with these last time and I really haven't come back to any stronghold since. So, no, I guess... No, there he is. So we'll just work around it. I, I'm just, you know... Totally opposed to breaking uh, spawner blocks because who knows someday I'll I'll find something I want to do with them. Well, that is damn irritating. Let's just let's just be quick about this. Just die. Let's be quick about this. All right. So you take your uh, eye of ender and you drop it in the black spots. You see it finishes out. 
Oh man, with this final spot, it completes the portal. And, uh. Oh, look at it. Look at it in its resplendent glory. I like that word, resplendent. Oh man. Oh. Where are you? I hear you. I hate these things. Yeah, a little bit of a jump in the video because I had to take a uh, break to eat something. So, uh. Yeah, so how you can tell when there's a silverfish in a block is if you hit it, normally you'll see it breaks a lot quicker. So yeah, that, that's got a silverfish in it. So if you break this block, out comes the silverfish. Oh, damn it. You really won't worry about these things. What happens is they, after a certain amount of time when you're not around, uh, not in close enough proximity, they will uh, put themselves in stone blocks. And uh, you really got to watch out because they will uh, get away from me. They'll put themselves in blocks that are directly adjacent to the lava, like this one. Dick. And it will uh, cause lava to spill out when they eventually explode out of it. So, uh, kind of irritating. I'm really kind of wondering if I shouldn't just destroy that uh, that spawner, but uh, like I said, I'm just kind of against it. Just uh, murder this asshole. God. I'm all paranoid about these things showing up. Busting out of blocks. Oh, I hate silverfish. I hate them in real life too, but in real life they're these little bug things. Or are there fish so far? I forget. Maybe thinking of something completely unrelated. They only jump in stone blocks, so you don't don't have to worry about them getting into like your chest or portal or anything like that, but they're still major irritation. You bastards. Alright, well I guess I better uh, set that bed up down here, get a nice safe place where I can uh, rest so I can set my spawn point. In case I die, um, I want to make sure I'm close by so I can try and rush back in and get my stuff. Hey, skeleton. I'd like to come back and explore this area some more, but uh, not right now. i got a mission. i got a mission to kill the dragon. Oh, you again. Just, just damn it. I hate those things. Probably not going to be able to sleep down here. Yep. Yeah. Well, it's night time out. Although it wouldn't let me sleep if it was a night time out, so I guess I'm going to check that. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm going to need to go back up top and, uh, and get set up up there. Maybe, maybe if I kill this, uh, skeleton here. Hey, buddy. What you doing? That's some interesting passageways that back that way. Um, the other reason you want to set the spawn point Take care of these guys real quick, bastards. The only reason you want to set a spawn point near this is because if I do succeed in killing the dragon after I go through the end of the game, uh, where they got credits and all that good junk rolling, it'll take you back to your spawn point. So I'd like to be back here. Plus, I got all those dogs there, and if it just takes me back to my house, I'm probably going to be too far for them to teleport to me, and I just lose my whole army. So, uh, make some ladders here. Probably not going to make enough. Let's just see if we can get back up to the surface. You know, that probably should have been closed. Bad on me. I'm, I'm messing up all over the place here. Not a good sign for the dragon fight. Let's just uh, tower up here. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of funny to me that it wouldn't let me sleep in my secured tunnel because monsters are nearby, but I can sleep on the open air of this roof with all this crap around. Oh, well. Uh, I don't know. I, I kind of miss monsters interrupting your sleep. Um, it was only zombies and skeletons. So although it scared the crap out of you, you know, you probably weren't going to get killed unless you were really low on health. But, uh, oh god, I thought I was going to fall to my death. Oof. Okay, so, uh, so this is it. This is the big fight. This is the big one. Gonna get up in there, gonna gather all this crap that I can. Give me a minute to uh, sort up my uh, my inventories here. Get all my good stuff in the hot bar. Let's put uh, some healing potions, put potion of regen in there. Should probably drink one of those straight out. Um, I could drink that potion of strength too. Food, not gonna worry about that. Oh, let's get that pumpkin on. That'll keep us from uh, angering the Endermen, so uh, Potion of Strength 2. 1 minute 
20 seconds. Okay. Got another potion there. Get that regen potion. Oh. Wasting my time. Man, it's really hard to see in this. It's going to be a tough fight. It's going to be a tense battle. All right. Got the regen going. Got strength going. Let's get in there. All right, a little little glitch with the uh, capture software there for a sec, but uh, we are here. We are in the end, and uh, I think, uh, oh man, this is this is tense. So the dragon over there at the side. Yep, there he's flying around. Kind of hard to see with this pumpkin, but it's saving me from having to fight all these Endermen. And uh, oh, oh, he's coming my way. Yeah, take it. Yeah. Oh shit. So uh, if you uh. I don't remember from last time, I haven't seen this before. Basically, you got these uh, obsidian towers with these crystal things on them. You gotta blow those up. Shooting them. Oh, two for one. Nice. Get out of here. Try and get away from the edge so he doesn't uh, throw me into oblivion. But basically, uh, what those things do, nice, is that uh, he'll fly by and regenerate any lost health by uh, siphoning energy off of those. So uh, it's really hard to beat him without blowing those up first. And uh, some of them can be tricky, like uh, that one that he just flew past is probably going to be a pain. Oh, I'm doing pretty good so far. Alright. Oh, nice. Oh. Tearing it up. Wait, where is he? Alright. Gotta remember to keep my eye on that dragon and try and keep in mind where he's at because, uh, you know, he... He doesn't do any damage to you directly flying into you, but he, he will knock your ass through the ground straight to hell. Oh man, this is this is tense here. Oh, the edge, alright, one more down. Not real great with the long shots, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, let's see if we can uh, tower up on top of this one. I think we're gonna be good for a minute here. Get up here and uh, knock that... Uh, Knock that thing out real quick. No! Oh! Oh man. <laughs> Featherfall boots. Saving my bacon. Get this regen going. No time for eating. Where are you at? He can, uh, he can pretty much fly through any uh, any solid blocks. So uh, nothing is an obstacle to him. Makes this very deadly. Alright, well. Try to. Oh, sh You piece of crap. Okay, you want me on the ground? That's fine. That's fine. We can, we can do it that way. We can do it that way. Just get a little closer. Come on down. Come on, get some! Oh, I hate the flying shit in this game. Oh! Yeah! You don't like that, do ya? I feel like I'm just wasting my arrow shooting him right now, though. Lodo is keeping him from flying into my face. Oh, nice. Alright. Two more, three more. Oh, come on. Come on, get it. Where's the dragon? Where's the dragon? Oh. Oh, man. It's crazy. Like, you, you look at this jack-o'-lantern image, and you wouldn't think it would block your view that much, but it, you know, gives you all kinds of blind spots. Where are you? Where, there you are. Coming in for it. You ain't going to get it. You ain't going to get me. Not today. I'm on a killing spree here. Come on. Come on. Oh, man. Really not doing great with these things. Still feeling strong, feeling tough, feeling good. Come on. Yes! Oh, he just flies through. Oh, he just flew straight through me. God. No. Oh. Crap. We have a clear shot. I want to get those Endermen pissed off. There we go. All right. We've got him on the ropes now. Still got a couple of these left. This fight is far from over. Here he comes. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, it's gonna be tough. I can't tower up to these things. He's just gonna fly by and knock me. Oh! Man, it freaks me out. I know. I know he can't directly injure me. You don't want him that close. Come on. Ah. Oh. Don't disappoint me here. Okay. Try to 
tunnel up. Yeah. Where are you? There you are. Alright, let's get distance away. Might be able to. Let's see why I try to tunnel up before. There, there he is. Oh, here it comes. Yes. Well, you thought you had me. I'm not gonna be your snack. I'm not a fear to you, dragon. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah, I really am just wasting my shots until they get that stuff knocked out. Alright, new plan. End of Pearl. Go! I hope my aim is good on this one. It's looking. Yes! Alright, as long as it doesn't box me off of this, I think I'm good. Sights. We've got that one. Come on. Yes! And he's left? Yeah, yeah, that's right, you come get it. Oh, he's pissed now. He's pissed. I broke all his fancy toys. Yeah, you just keep coming at me. Keep on coming. Where are you at? Where are you? Oh, straight through the tower. Nice strategy. Oh, man. Where is he? Oh! <laughs> this is uh, really tense right now. I'm worried about this. Where are you going? Where are you going, dragon? Come on back. Yeah. Come on. Oh, oh shit. One left. I gotta get that one. I gotta knock that out, otherwise it's all for nothing. Come on, come on. back. As long as you get him before he knocks you, don't back off. If only for a second. Oh, shit. Wait for me. Oh, man. Come on. Come on. Oh! You almost got me. Caught me napping. I, I got it! I got it! Alright. Got you by the balls now, dragon. Come on down. Come on down and get some. We're gonna do this. I think we're sitting alright, okay, cocky. Let's be careful with these random shots. I'm gonna end up pissing off an Enderman. It's the last thing I want right now. Come on. Come on. Yes! Yes! I got you! Oh, look at that. Glorious. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful reign of XP. Put that pumpkin back on. And of course I just now realized well, these potions don't work if I throw them at my feet at all. That's not what I just realized. Should have known. I was even thinking that before, but Whatever, I'm fine. Alright, Featherfall boots do yo thing. Nice. Oh man, look at all this XP. Hopefully I can get all this stuff without falling into the portal. Don't want to go just yet. Try to gather this up safely. What I was saying, I just realized that uh, if you hit F1 to remove your, uh, the display, remove the, uh, you know, the toolbar and all that, it gets rid of the, uh, the pumpkin. The uh, pumpkin overlay. So, uh, man. <laughs> I guess, uh, this feels kind of like cheating, but, uh, I don't know. It uh, does a trick. Let's pick up some of this lovely end stone here. Holy crap, look at that experience. 103 levels. That is astounding. Alright, piston time. What you need this piston for is to gather. Barely see it. I need my menu up right now. Oh, crap. Well, I guess he fell in the portal. Scared me there. What you got here is a dragon egg. Doesn't really do anything yet, as far as I know. Just a neat uh, trophy block. Alright. Just want to make sure that uh, when I knock this thing off, I don't want to use that. Let's use the dirt. 
I'm gonna knock this thing off. It doesn't fall in that portal and become inaccessible. Basically, you can't uh, break these normally because it just teleports away from you. Uh, but you can push them with a piston, which causes it to pop, and then you can pick it up. At least uh, that is according to videos I've seen. So let's see if this holds true. And yes, I've got it. Got the glorious dragon egg. Glorious victory is ever more glorious because because uh, I got all these trophies here. So uh, man, I'm gonna have to come back here after I get out of here and uh, check this place out some more. Um, this is a great place for a uh, Enderman uh, trap. It's the best place for it because it's all you get. And I don't really know if there's any way to control their spawning. Um, I don't know if lighting will do it or uh, putting half subs down, kind of like you have to do in the Nether. But uh, that'll be an interesting project. Get all the uh, Ender pearls you could ever want. I see a lot of people doing that now, just using ender pearls to jet around all over the place. And I've never done it because I never had uh, enough quantity of them to feel secure tossing that around. But uh, maybe now, now that i got access to this place, maybe we'll just come here on a wild hunt. So, uh, yeah, that is the end. The end of the end dragon. So uh, let's hop through this portal and uh, see what the end brings us. Although I'm not really sure if I'm going to film it because I already kind of know what it is. But let's... Uh, Let's check it out. Say goodbye to the end for now. Leave as victorious champions. Get pumpkin off. Put my helmet on. See this place with my own eyes one last time. For you know, for now, because I will be back for more of this stuff. It's delicious moon cheese here. Really, this place is like the moon to me, anyway. Kind of crazy. All right, let's uh. Let's hop in this portal and uh, see where this rabbit hole takes us. Well, there we have it. The uh, end of Minecraft. Odd that a open-ended sandboxy game would have an end, but... Uh, this is what you get when you kill the dragon and hop in the portal. You get this long, scrolling wall of bizarre text. Um, I'm not sure if there's music with this. I, I thought there was, but I'm pretty sure I have the music turned down in my uh, sound settings. Um, that might make this more palatable. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just very strange and very long. Um, so let's just uh, let's speed this up a bit. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is this is very strange. It's basically saying that uh, I don't know what it's saying. It confuses me. It's some weird philosophical thing. It's a nice message. It's just kind of I don't know out of place in this. So uh, so that's it. That's the uh, fiftieth episode. Uh, man, that dragon fight was uh, <laughs> super tense. And uh, not being able to see very well because of that pumpkin didn't help because, you know, that dragon's coming in on you. He just sits right in the uh, that blind spot right in the middle between the uh, eyes and the mouth hole of the jack-o'-lantern of the pumpkin. It uh, makes it kind of tricky. Still, uh, did a hell of a lot better than the last time where I just got uh, booted off the first tower tried to climb up. Um, man, but man, this was, was a lot of planning went into that. Um, I mean, that the uh, XP farms just took forever and ever, and I'm really going to have to go back to the nether and make myself one of those blaze spawners because uh, they give out double the experience of the rest of the mobs, and that's why people build those, um, because it's a lot quicker way to level up, although uh, it can be dangerous in the nether with gas and stuff, but uh, you just got to make sure you uh, surround your stuff and build it in a secure area. Still kind of kind of tricky, and... Uh, yeah, thinking about doing the, you know, double spawner, but uh, managing them is tough. I mean, you don't have water to push them on like you do on the uh, the overworld. And um, I think you could push them with lava, but I'm not sure if they would really flow with it or if they just fly away. I, I don't know. Something to check on. Another another project for the wall. Yeah, this just, this just goes on and on. With the universe and the interface system point it tells you yeah, human made from nothing but milk and love i would like to think that i'm more than milk and love and i think that would be especially bad if you were lactose intolerant
What a weird, weird stuff in this, talking about planets and stars and things. They don't know what to think. I mean, I don't really know what kind of ending, you know, would be appropriate for this game. Uh, I saw some people say, you know, it'd be nice to have, like, some screenshots um, from the game. I don't know how it would gather those. That'd be uh, pretty tricky. I guess if you had a bunch of screenshots in your screenshot folder, you could grab those and cycle through, but you may end up having some crap shots in there. I don't know. I give them credit for putting something in there. Um, and you can skip this. You can just hit escape, I believe, and skip through this. I didn't, because, you know, figured as long as I'm here, might as well sit through it, but Man, it just drags on and on and on. Just this endless stream of text. Yeah, I thought about cutting this uh, out of the video entirely, but I um, figured someone would probably want to see it, and uh, that way I've got it on video for posterity if I ever get nostalgic someday down the road. But, uh, we're coming up to the end here, coming up to the credits. Um, coming through the credits, rather. Nice quote from Mark Twain. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's that. Very strange. And then after the credits uh, are finished rolling through, uh, respawns you back at your, lo back, back at your uh, spawn point, and that's where uh, Pass Jum is now, so I'm just going to hand it back over to him. Hey, everybody. Jum Jummington, and uh, that is my 50th episode. Thank you so much for watching. We've slain the dragon. I've captured the dragon egg. I take that home and put it in a special spot, probably in the middle of that pyramid I'm uh, going to build eventually. And uh, once again, I just want to thank all of you for uh, watching my videos and for your continued uh, views and comments and your support. Um, you know, you're the reason that uh, I keep making these videos. So while uh, for me and my uh, army of meat down here, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed my uh, extended 50th episode. I really tried to make it a good one. Uh, make it kind of epic. Don't know when I'll do another one like this. Maybe 100, maybe maybe further. But uh, until next episode, thanks for watching, and uh, we will see you back at the home base. Good night, everybody. Come on, my jubes. Let's head home.